Thanks, buddy. All right. Welcome, everybody, uh, to our junior high camp leader meeting. Uh, if you guys, you probably just popped in and heard the last little bit of high school camp, uh, so we'll go quick. A uh, couple things. If you have questions that come up, just write them down, and at the very end, um, I'll allow you guys to ask those. Uh, we'll give you some time, but there could be some things that get answered between now and then, uh, so just write those down. First, I want to say thank you guys um, for stepping in and helping uh, lead our students uh, during the best week of summer. Uh, being a leader for seventh and eighth grade students uh, is very, very uh, fun and exciting and also uh, difficult sometimes and stinky because I have a seventh grader in my house right now. So I'm uh, with you guys on all of that. So thank you so much for stepping up and doing that. Um, just a couple things about junior high camp. Uh, if you don't know this, this is the first time that our team has ever put on our own camp from top to bottom, creating every single element that will happen at this camp. Um, so as the week goes on, there might be things that we're learning and adapting. So grace and patience for our team uh, as we do this for the first time would be very welcome. Uh, as still happens every day, there's something like, oh shoot, they used to do that for us. I gotta get that done today. So again, uh, we're really, really excited about what God's gonna do, uh, but we would ask for your grace and patience with that because we're learning and um, it's gonna be awesome. So the biggest thing about camp is relational time with students. Uh, you get so much time with them, especially since this is an overnight camp, um, just to be relational, to build um, some community amongst your life group, uh, to allow students a safe space um, during their summer. Uh, the reality is some of these kids don't even want to be home right now uh, just because of whatever their home life looks like. And so this could be the best week that they have all year. Um, so you get to have that time with them. So enjoy it. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun, but that's the biggest thing about camp is spending time with our students. Schedule uh, for the week. Let me pull up all my Google Docs here. We will all be staying on site on the Mesa campus if you did not know that uh, already. Uh, and so the way that is going to happen is the Monday that you show up uh, for camp, you will get a room assignment. Uh, what we have done um, is we have gone through the Mesa campus and found as many spaces uh, that we can uh, that have indoor um, bathroom uh, access. So one of the things with Mesa campus uh, is just the amount of people that kind of find their way onto the campus at night. And so for safety reasons, we had to go through and find all of the classrooms and children's buildings and stuff like that, that um, they have access to bathrooms inside so no one has to go outside so every single room that students and leaders will be staying in will have access to bathrooms uh, indoors instead of having to go outside so that's the first thing I want you guys to know schedule wise breakfast will be in the morning um, obviously we're providing all of that it won't be hot breakfast uh, there'll be uh, different pop tarts and bagels and fruit and stuff like that uh, and then we're catering in lunch uh, and dinner every single day uh, whether it's from a restaurant or we have uh, Berwin, who's going to be cooking for high school camp, will also come over and do a couple meals for junior high camp. So I'm not going to go into all the details uh, of the schedule, um, but I will kind of give you a quick rundown uh, of it. So Monday night check-in uh, is at 5.30. We're going to ask leaders to be there by 4.45, um, and that will we'll be able to do a quick leader meeting. You'll also be able to go to your rooms uh, and see where that's at and get it set up and claim your bed space next to an outlet for all of your electronics. So 445 on that Monday and then check-in will begin at 530. The first session will be at 630 and then right after that night session will be life groups for 45 minutes and then we are doing night activities, um, different things that are planned for the night and then lights out. Then Tuesday, uh, through Thursday, the schedule pretty much stays the same. Breakfast will be uh, 8 to 9. And then we're doing color wars after breakfast to try and get out of uh, being in the heat. Um, that'll go from 9.15 to 10.30. Then we'll do a session before lunch. And then lunch will happen. And you will do lunch with your life group. This will be a time to just kind of debrief as a group um, the session that just happened. And then every day there is a quiet time for 45 minutes. 
this is um, for students to go off by themselves. If you've been to UCYC with us, this is something that they did. Uh, we're going to adopt that. Uh, so this is not something that you have to do in your group. This is a chance for you to go back to the room, make a phone call, take a quick nap, do your own quiet time, uh, grab a snack, whatever you need to do. Um, but students will be able to go and do quiet time on their own. Um, and that will happen each day after lunch. And then after quiet time is the free time and rec. So we have all kinds of different things planned for this. Um, we're gonna, we have video games set up. Uh, we'll have dodgeball tournaments. Uh, we'll have, uh, I think we're gonna do a movie room, uh, different stuff like that. That will happen uh, after quiet time uh, before dinner. Then dinner will be five o'clock. And then we'll have a night session. You'll have life groups again after the night sessions and more night activities. Um, that's pretty much the schedule. The plan right now is that Thursday night we will end with a water world, uh, which is just going to be a bunch of inflatables and water games and all kinds of crazy stuff for the kids to do before their parents come pick them up. So that night we will give you guys instru instructions as we get closer, but they'll have to pack up everything before they go out um, and then be able to go back and grab it um, once their parents get there to pick them up. All right. Um, meals covered that uh, the curriculum this year we're really excited about uh, again because we've had the freedom to create um, everything on our own uh, Kate uh, and our team has been working really hard on this and we're gonna be going through a curriculum called no way home uh, and we're gonna be looking at the prodigal son at uh, night and then the Trinity uh, during the morning session so we're really excited about this also, our team is losing their mind right now, and so that's really cool to just watch Rachel, uh, I think, blow snot out of her nose on screen, so that's cool. Oh, she disappeared. Good. Made her embarrassed. Uh, so that's going to be the curriculum. We have some cool elements planned each night uh, that we're really excited about. Uh, each one of our staff members is going to be teaching a lesson, uh, so whether it be morning or night, um, our team is bringing the messages, which we're really excited about. We did that last year. Um, no, we're really excited. Gosh, this team is the worst. Why did I get the second half of the meeting time? You guys are all falling apart. <clears throat> all right. Um, meals. Security. We will have uh, security on site during the day and then an on site officer, police officer, that we pay for each night from 7 to 11 p.m. Uh, so they'll be there all day helping with us. It will be a closed campus. Uh, other than there will be some staff that have to work during the day uh, in the office building. Uh, but other than that, there won't be anybody uh, on or off of our campus. Uh, we don't have any students right now getting picked up for any activities or anything like that. If that happens, we will let you know who they are. Uh, but none of them drive, so <laughs> a parent will have to come and pick them up. So uh, that'll be easy for us to handle with that. Um, the last thing with housing, uh, that I want to go over, which is going to be a big question, is showers. So what we've done is we have rented two eight-stall shower trailers that will be on site. Hey, guys, can you stop with the text messages dinging in my ear? Um, we're doing two eight-stall shower trailers. Uh, there is so much happening on my screen. My anxiety and ADHD is not working right now. Whew, let me take a breather. We, I didn't think I just saw Rachel Emmerich in the background of someone's screen for some reason. Um, two shower trailers that will that will be for guys and girls. They'll be separated on the campus, and we are going to do shower uh, times for you guys. So I will have a schedule for which groups get to shower when, and everyone gets to shower every day, obviously, and they're losing their mind. This is great. <laughs> Love it. Um, that's the shower situation. I think I'm done with all my stuff. Does anybody have any questions? Let's just go over that. Because I'm, like, losing it right now. <laughs> you guys are the worst. Did I miss something? I'm so excited. Okay. Does anyone have any legit questions? Meds, yes, thank you, Mark Solis. Uh, meds are gonna be the same as high school camp. They will be checking them into the chapel. Our uh, nurse, his name is Nathan Rush, comes from uh, the Queen Creek campus. Uh, he will be distributing all the meds. So kids uh, will be coming and checking in. Their parent email is going out tomorrow afternoon. 
Um, and it will have all the information with medical cards and where to check in all of their meds. So that will happen. Uh, they are not allowed to have anything on them. Uh, no ibuprofen, no Tylenol, no allergy pills, none of that. All of that stuff will have to go through uh, the nurse for junior high camp. That reminded me one thing that they're gonna get emailed tomorrow that I can tell you guys. Color wars. So something that's different from high school camp is color wars are just split up randomly uh, for each team. There's not by grade. Uh, and so I have gone through and basically evenly distributed all the students uh, into four different teams. So I have your teams if you would like to write them down. Students will be receiving this email tomorrow with their teams so, uh, so that they can plan and bring clothes. Uh, but if you guys wanna know, you can write it down. So for the red team, we have Callista, Steven and Christian, Justice, and Mike and Mickey, I believe that is, right, Coleman? Yep, okay, cool. Uh, yellow team, Mackenzie, Ty, and Mark and Jamie. Green team is Emma and Sarah, Abby and Aubrey, and Aiden and Nick. And blue team is Jake and Camden, Dakota, Jazz, and Gina. Those are your Color Wars teams. So we've adopted some of the games that we've done up at UCYC in the past. We're adopting some of the games that we've done at CIY that we've put on ourselves. Um, the sessions are gonna look similar to what they've been in the past, but also a little bit of a CSM twist on them. Uh, with the production value that we have on our Mesa campus, we're really excited about this. This is something um, that our junior high students haven't been able to experience before at a camp. Uh, so we're really excited about all of that. The band's gonna be phenomenal. Um, the stage is massive there. Devin's created a killer team to lead us in worship. Um, so we're really, really excited. So again, does anyone have any questions about junior high camp that I can answer now? Okay, cool. Again, parent email, if they've been asking you, will go out tomorrow um, with all of their packing lists and details. Uh, one of the things, how are you feeling? I'm feeling a little bit better now. It's great. I just don't think people realize what everyone else can see on their screen when they make faces and do things. Maybe they just don't care. Are we meeting this week? Yes, we normally we regularly on that Monday. Um, yes, we will meet Nathan this week. Packing list for you guys, just so you're aware, uh, you guys are able to bring up to a queen size air mattress for leaders. Students will be told to bring uh, twin size or camping cots uh, for them to sleep on, uh, but you guys can bring whatever is comfortable for you. We'll have big enough spaces that it won't take up too much room, uh, but if we have 12 junior high kids all bringing queen size air mattresses, we might run out of space. So uh, prepare for that um, for your sleeping arrangements. Can you bring a tent? Sure. You can bring a tent. I mean, it's gonna be indoors, but why not? You can't sleep outside. I don't think you want to, but you can definitely have a tent indoors. Any other legit questions? Cool. Well, I'm gonna get off for here and uh, let me pray really quick and then we'll be free to go. God, thank you so much uh, for who you are. Thank you for the opportunity that we have. Um, God, to just lead students uh, during a week of camp where they're experiencing you. God, I just pray over each and every leader that has stepped up um, to lead. Uh, God, that you would give them patience and rest, uh, that you'd be with their families. Um, God, that you would just use them in ways that um, are gonna glorify you and um, continue to build uh, your kingdom. So God, as we're still planning and finalizing, uh, would you just be with our team? Would you be with our leaders um, over the next couple weeks as we do two different camps? Um, God, all to glorify you and all to bring students closer to you. Uh, that's the heart of this. So God, as we would uh, get into all of the weeds and everything that uh, it takes to put these on, would you remind us of that? 
Um, God be with us uh, over the next couple weeks. Uh, give us the rest that we need uh, in preparation. Love you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Cool. Love you guys. See you in a couple weeks. <laughs>